In this problem, we're going to learn how to calculate the percent of volatile solids reduction in an anaerobic digester. Well, let's go to the board and see how to work this problem. The problem reads, lab data from your 100,000 gallon primary anaerobic digester, which receives primary sludge only, is shown below. Using this data, calculate the average volatile solids reduction. Compare your calculated value to generally accepted ranges for a healthy anaerobic digester. Well, we have a bunch of numbers here and some different dates, so the first order of business is to determine which numbers we want to use. Well, when we're dealing with percent volatile solids reduction, we use the formula that has, our, has us take our percent volatile solids in minus our percent volatile solids out. And then we use that on the bottom as well, our volatile solids in and our volatile solids out. So here they gave us our raw sludge percent volatile solids, and they also gave us our digested sludge percent volatile solids. So these are the two columns of data that we're going to use. This raw sludge percent total solids, it's not used for calculating this problem. So we're just gonna cross that out. So we're just looking at our raw sludge percent volatile solids. That's gonna be the in value. And then what's coming out of the digester is the digested sludge percent volatile solids. So looking at our formula, something to remember is when we put these percentages in, we need to enter them in their decimal form. So we must use decimals, not the percents. Now we have three different dates in which we have data. And we're supposed to calculate the average in this problem. So there's a couple ways we can go about this. You could use this formula and calculate the percent reduction for each day, get three answers, add them up, divide by three, and come up with the average. But the more simple way is to just add your uh, raw sludge percent volatile solids together and get that average, and then add up the digested sludge and get that average, and just plug it into the formula one time. So what we're going to do is we're going to add our percent of volatile solids in our raw sludge, and when we add those three numbers up, we get 191.8. Now, if we divide that by three, that'll be our average percent volatile solids of our raw sludge. So we have 60% volatile solids going into the digester. That's our average. Well, when we look at our digested sludge and add those three numbers up, we get 164 divided by three. We see that we have 54.7% uh, volatile solids. So we can now use these two numbers and plug them into our formula and solve this problem. And remember, we need to use the decimal form. So when we plug our numbers in, we use the 66% as 0.66, that's what's going in, minus our 54.7, which gets written 0 0.547. And then we divide that by the 0.66 minus the quantity of the 0.66 times 0.547. And then we multiply that 100 to convert our decimal into percent. So once we do this math, we see that our percent of volatile solids reduction is 37.8%. Now, is that very good? The answer is no. They asked us to compare our calculated value to generally accepted ranges for a healthy anaerobic digester. Well, just a note, a healthy, well-operated anaerobic digester should be reducing your volatile solids between 50 to 60%. So in this case, since we're only achieving a 37.8% reduction in our volatile solids, this digester is not functioning pro properly. Well, that, my friend, is how this problem is solved.